ensure all electrical work is done by a licensed electrician. This video demonstrates the basic principles on how to wire an ASIL pump controller. Always refer to the manual and adhere to local codes. Secure the pump controller in place and be sure that it is level. Plan ahead. Know which knockouts you want to use and remove them accordingly. Install appropriate electrical connectors. Bring the wires that will connect to the pumps of your hydronic system into the bottom of your pump controller. Give yourself plenty of extra wire. Secure it in the cable connector. ASIL multi-pump controllers can control multiple zone pumps, plus a system pump, otherwise known as primary pump. The wire shown here is for the system pump. The wire being installed farthest to the bottom left is the power supply for the pump controller. This provides power to the controller. While you may opt to install a plug, best practice is to hardwire the controller directly to your electrical panel. Bring in the thermostat wires to the top section of the controller. With a small flat plane screwdriver, press in on the white tabs to open the terminal and install the wires. As shown here, the isolated end switch, labeled XX, is to connect to your boiler's thermostat terminals. The T section of terminals connect to your thermostats. We've installed a jumper on zone two for reference. This technique is commonly used for testing purposes before wiring in the thermostats. If your thermostat requires power, as many slab sensing or Wi-Fi enabled stats do, 24 volt power is available from your pump controller. Be sure to connect your grounds and ground your pump controller. Connect the wires from the pump controller to the circulators. Press on the tab for each of the wires and insert the wire. Gain access to the boiler circuit board. Connect the isolated end switch, XX, from your pump controller to the thermostat terminals in the boiler. For this example, we're connecting to a Thermolec electric boiler, which uses the W1 and C terminals. Your boiler may vary. When the pump controller receives power, the green power indicator light is illuminated. In this example, zone two is also illuminated where we installed a jumper wire. The zone one indicator will illuminate when the zone one thermostat signals a call for heat. Your pump controller wiring is now complete. Thank you for choosing Heat Innovations.